God, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, for you are our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. I think we all admit that we are living through very challenging times. Times that challenge our judgment, our faith, times that challenge our relationship and our economic well-being. I suspect that you were shocked, as was I, yesterday when I learned of the shooting that took place in Tucson, Arizona. We are a nation that values the gift of public expression. It's one of our core values as a society. We are a free people, and within that context of freedom, there is the ability to debate, to offer different ideas, to be in dialogue, to share different perspectives, and yes, to disagree. But one of the challenges we are now facing in our culture is a level of conversation, a level of meanness that we hear constantly over the airwaves, casting doubt on others legitimate ideas, casting doubt on others' patriotism, casting all kinds of questions on people of goodwill. And as the sheriff of Pima County observed last evening in what I thought was a very wise statement, quite an elderly gentleman who's seen a lot of rough, tough stuff in his life. And he says on the national media, we cannot allow the degree of the meanness of public conversation to enable those who are apt to respond in this way. We are igniting a certain level of hatred in the public discourse. It's not just suspicion of who each other is. It's not just a debate about liberal or conservative ideals, which is good and healthy, but at times, when we listen, I don't know how you are, but when I listen to the panels on Fox News or CNN or MSNBC or any of these panels where people talk over each other and yell at each other and question each other's genuineness, I guess, it is so heated and so out of control in so many ways. We are bound to ignite the fuse of those who are unstable in a few individuals who are very unstable, grab hold of something like this and act out. And when they act out, the acting out kills. 
remains. Because it's not an appropriate acting out. It's not an appropriate dialogue. It is hateful. This morning, we're reading words from the book of Isaiah. And yes, these words are intended for Isaiah. And yes, the early Christian church appropriated these words to make sense of, to understand who Jesus was. But yet, there are words here that are meant for us. And yes, I know that we cannot possibly move to the level of perfection that these words would intend. And yes, I know that we have to be humble and careful in the way we read these words, but Isaiah 42, beginning at the sixth verse, says some very important things to us, the family of the church. It says, I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. And that word righteousness means I've called you to be in a relationship, a right relationship with me. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. God is saying, I reach for you where you are. I desire to hold your life, to give you strength. I desire to keep you in my embrace. And it says, I have given you as a covenant to the people. Now the word covenant is one of those Old Testament words that we see a lot. It means a relationship. I have given you to be in relationship with my people. To have a loyalty, a friendship, a, a bond. And I give you, all of us, as a light to the nations. Have you ever noticed how when certain people walk into your life, they bring a sense of well-being into the room? They bring a certain affirmation for who you are into the space? They, they light the room up because they touch your heart, because you know they care that you are okay. We are asked, as a Christian family, spread around the whole world, 